All right. I need to know how to get a programming boyfriend. I just have to. A programmer boyfriend. The reason we're looking for a programmer boyfriend instead of Man in Finance 6-5 Blue Eyes Trust Fund is because programmer boyfriend A has a lot more free time. Especially Dark Readers doesn't work on Instagram, by the way. Um, have you ever played with those statistic websites where it's like uh, you can you can figure out how unlikely the person is you're looking for? So six foot uh, six foot five, blue eyes, trust fund baby. There's like seven of those people that exist. Especially when he gets laid off. And B, if you ever get bored of him, you can just plop him in front of a video game and he'll stay engaged. Very self-sufficient. So the first thing you're going to do is create a Stack Overflow account. Make sure to have a really cute profile picture. You know, put their Discord username in the bio. Yeah. And then go ahead and choose any tag you want. You know, Java, Python, C++. I found mine on C++, but like it's totally up to personal preference. And then you want to go... She really should have deep dived onto that personal preference because, I mean, C++, can we be real here? You're going to get Finnish or Russian people. Like, that's it. That's all you're going to get. Finnish or Russian people. There's nothing There's nothing else. Right around the age, about 42. Okay. The, that, that's it. That's it. Their name will be something like Alexi, but spelled with a K. Oh, ask a question that shows that you're a little bit confused, you're a beginner, but also a kind of controversial question. Make it look like you just stumbled onto that controversy. If you do have a... By the way, I used to... I'd... I used to I used to try to farm Stack Overflow points for a little while, and I used to ask questions like "What is more Pythonic?" and then do like "A not in B" or "Not A in B." It was so much fun because it would just it would just go wild. It, people could not help but to want to to answer that question. Well, actually, if you break down the pi the the the, the byte codes, you can tell that they're actually the same thing. And so therefore, it's really down to style preferences, but personally, due to this kind of style preferencing, it's actually better to use not in because it's more English legible. A lot of experience, I wouldn't recommend revealing that information until marriage. If you're not sure what you should ask, I'd recommend tabs versus spaces, anything related to memory safety, and anything related to Rust. Now you're going to have all these dingbats in the comments just arguing about the least important thing in the world, and then one of them is inevitably going to message you on Discord and say, don't listen to everybody else, listen to me. That's the one you want to ensnare into your trap. I know this is satire, but I, I, can't, help, I can't help but to say... That when that person does inevitably slide into your Discord, he in fact will not say, just listen to me. He's going to say something that indefinitely is going to cause a lot more trauma than that. Okay. Send Bob. <laughs> Hi, what's Bob? Send, please. <laughs> this is actually not sa satire. This is clearly not satire. <laughs> and Vajen, please. Hi. Me not talk to person. Please send. Oh man, that actually, this was great, by the way. This is absolutely fantastic. This is just that, this is a beautiful, whatever this is, you, fantastic job. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. And it might actually work. The more I think about it, the more I think it works, but the, I, I will, I, I do want to, I do want to, you know, well, actually this one a little bit. She also said anything related to Rust. Um, obviously, there's a lot of difficult with doing the things related to Rust because you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of blue hair. So you have to be willing for that. You got to be willing for that preference. I don't know. I don't know. Might be a bit argumentative. I'm not sure. Not sure.